Go ahead. 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 Go ah
in any situation where somebody dies that it's not our place to say anything about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so going back to that, it's just, I, I just felt pain in my heart for Becky because I just wouldn't want my mom's name in the mouth of any person in the hater nation or anyone in Amberlynn's community because at a time when we could have been helpful, respectful, and or just shut the fuck up, people were saying very vile things and um, a lot of the hater nation were, it was just not cool. So even to come together now and offer our condolences, I think it falls a little short just for the fact that where were we when her mom was alive? And, you know, just talking about death and, and uh, my, again, this is all my opinion and I'm just getting it out because when you go through death of people that are close to you, every time somebody dies, it kind of opens that wound again and you feel the pain of the, that death, break. you feel the sorrow. So, um, another thing, I, when my nephew died, and he died in a motorcycle accident, he died very, very unexpectedly. Um, he had a funeral, and, um, well, yeah, he had a funeral, and there were a ton of people there to show him I mean, well, it would have been nice for him to see all the people that loved him. Now, I believe that he, he was there and he does know that, but I think that it's sad because the time that you really get to see who really loves you and who cares and who whose life you affected, they're not there. They can't see it because they're gone, they're dead. That being said, the time for us to clap back at the hater nation for the shit that they talked about Becky's mom is not now. It should have been then, when she was sick, when she was going to cancer uh, therapy and she was going through that. It was when she needed money on her GoFundMe. That's when we should have done it and that's when it would have meant something. But to come now and use it or even you know, I doubt very serious that the hardcore haters that were the people that started off the campaign of hate for Becky, Becky and Becky's mom and Amber Lynn, I doubt that they'll have anything to say now because I know that their, their asses are already in the sling for several different things. So they know better not to touch it. But I really don't think it's a subject. And I realize that as you're listening to this, you're saying, but Judy, you're making it a subject. I'm being exactly what I am. My channel, The Good Judy. I'm telling you guys, as somebody who's lost someone, this is not the time. And this is why, you know, I'm saying it really as a cautionary tale or to say, please stop. It's, we don't need to do this right now. And, you know, I get that it was out of love. I get that it was to show the hypocrisy of a group. But still, it, I just think we can wait on that. And you know, it's not a time to show hate to other people at a time of mourning because it doesn't mean anything good for Becky or anyone else. So just wanted to give my opinion on that. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'll see you on Wednesday for the weigh-in. Bye.